Saray, about what happened. Hmm? I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry. Don't worry about it. But I really had no idea they would go that far. I'm sure you would have been fine, but still. No. If you hadn't shown up, I'm pretty sure Bartlow and the others would all be dead now. I imagine you think it foolish of me to protect those who tried to have me killed. But this is how the game is played. If they were suddenly eliminated, the resulting chaos would spiral out of control. So... So it came down to country first, Alicia second. Am I right? Oh dear, I came to apologize and here I am airing my grievances at you. Worry not, fair squire. This too is the shepherd's duty. Then you have my thanks, noble shepherd. If my humble self may be of service in any respect, do not hesitate to ask. <laughs> then can I ask a favor? Of course. Could you apologize to the soldiers for me? Let them know I'm sorry for hitting them. I'll make sure to do so. I'm sure they already know quite well that you let them off easy. Yeesh, I can hardly stand to listen to those two. But we did anyway. Well, we didn't overhear them on purpose. You're worried, aren't you? Saray tends to shoulder a heavier burden than he needs to. That's all. Hey, Alicia? Ah! Ah! Sorry, I didn't know you were getting changed! <laughs> it's okay. I was just grooming my armor a bit. Still, it was pretty brazen of me to just enter a girl's room like that. Then allow me to invite you into my room officially. Come in, Saray. If you insist. Was there something you wanted? Oh, I was wondering if you're okay with the pace of the battle. Let me know if you feel overwhelmed. I'm fine. My lance and armor are as good as ever. I've been wanting to ask you, actually. Your armor is pretty special, right? <laughs> you mean the transparent parts, right? This armor has been passed down through the Difta family for generations. I'm farthest from the lineage, but there's an ancestor of mine who was renowned for his courage and bravery. It was said he defeated a monster which turned anything it saw into black crystal. Black crystal? Wait, does that mean- Yes. It's said this is the armor he wore. It is part of an old legend after all, so only some parts of it remain. Do you want to see it? Sure. It's a lot clearer than I thought it'd be. I had no idea. Alicia, your meal is... Oh, my. Sorry to interrupt you two. L lila it it's not what you think. Yeah. Guess you really should knock before entering someone's room.
I still can't get over their skills. You mean those assassins? Yeah. From what I could sense, they're practically Hellion class. They're still just regular humans, aren't they? I think so. <sighs> but why aren't they Hellions? Well, maybe they're good people? Good people? They're the most feared assassins guild on the continent. You know about the scattered bones? Scarcely a soul doesn't. No one's seen their faces and lived to tell the tale, so this is all just conjecture. But rumor holds that they've been involved in close to a hundred assassinations. Nobility, military officers, underworld bosses. I'd always thought them just a colorful urban myth, but... Given their fighting skills, I'd say they're the real deal. And yet it is a fact that they were not Hellions. Do you think there is a reason for this? That I could not say. A reason they don't turn into Hellions? Please don't tell me you want to hunt them down and ask. Who knows? We might meet him again whether we like it or not. Boy, lucky us. No one has done any work on it? How could this be? Excuse me. They don't really believe Saray is the Shepherd at all. Good. Better than them expecting too much of him. Besides, I'm sure Saray has bigger things on his mind right now. Like fixing the bridge, you mean? Yeah. I can't believe how little progress has been made. I guess Marland is going to be quarantined for a little while longer. I want to do something to help them. That's a curious outfit. You must be the Shepherd? Yes, I'm Saray. I am Naif, a representative of Marland, the town on the other side of the river. Lord Saray, I hear that you were able to stop the rampage of the Water Spirit. I cannot possibly thank you enough. Oh gosh, that was nothing. Hey, Mr. Naif? Was there something that you wanted to discuss with me? Ah, well, you see... Thanks to your heroic efforts in putting a stop to the Water Spirit, the currents have calmed considerably, and we should be able to repair the bridge. But I'm afraid it's still taking too long. I have to make my way back and deliver this medicine at all costs. Huh, I see. Then... Sirene. I, uh... No, I apologize. It was wrong for me to ask favors of you just because you're the Shepherd. The destruction of the bridge itself was a warning to those who have forgotten their gratitude toward the Seraphim. I shall bear that in mind, and devote my energies to aid in restoring this bridge. I'm terribly sorry I couldn't help you. Please, don't fret. Your very existence is a beacon of hope to us all. We should be thanking you for appearing in such dismal times. I'll see if there's anything I can do on my end as well. I'm really sorry.
He's a good man. He hasn't forgotten his sense of gratitude to the Seraphim. I really want to help him somehow. Lila, is there nothing I can do to aid him? I ask as well. If it's just so Ray and his squire Alicia, I should be able to use my powers to cross the river. We can take the medicine with us. But if Saray uses his power as a shepherd to carry someone's goods, then everyone else will want to turn to use him as their own personal delivery boy. And we're not a freak company, you mean? Then maybe we can ask a fairy captain to... But then that fairy captain would just wind up having to deal with the same issue. So, you're saying we should start by addressing the root of the problem? Meaning we should just help restore the bridge, huh? And in a way that won't cause people to rely too much on the Shepherd afterwards. I wonder if we could maybe build the foundation for the bridge out of rock. Ask the Earth Seraph to help raise a riverbed or something. That's definitely something only the Shepherd could do. And the repairs that followed afterwards could be left up to the people. How about that? Very well. That sounds good to me. To the west looms a mountain known as the Spirit Crest. If I'm not mistaken, an Earth Seraph dwells there. Let's tell Alicia! Do you have a moment? Hey, I'd like to discuss this further with you later. Be ready. If you say so. Trouble? Well, I want to assist with the reconstruction too. For Marlin's sake. I asked, but... Not going as well as you'd hoped? I'm not the sort to give up so easily. I just need more time to explain how I can be of service. Anyway, what did you want to talk about? Yeah, I'm thinking we should talk to an Earth Seraph who lives on the Spirit Crest about helping with the reconstruction. They could change the riverbed to form the bridge's foundation. You... you can do something like that? It's definitely a possibility. Saray, I would like to properly convince everyone that I can help here. Would it be a bother if I were to stay behind? Nah, we should be fine. Do what you need to do. We're counting on you, Alicia. Right. Leave everything to me. Then we're off to the Spirit Crest. See you in a bit. I beg your pardon, but did you just say you were going to the Spirit Crest? Is there a problem? Rayfolk Spirit Crest is best avoided if you value your life. There is a reason that mountain is so frequently mentioned in the legends of the dragons. It is a place in which no man should set foot. Legends of the dragons? I don't remember anything like that coming up in the celestial record. Tell me. Do you know the legend of the Eight Serpents? That's the legend found in every culture of the Eight Dragons who betrayed the Seraphim and were banished to the Underworld. Hmm. Our tales tell that one of those dragons still remains in Rayfolk Spirit Crest. But the Celestial Record doesn't mention anything like that. Perhaps not. It's hardly reasonable to think that all the legends in the world can be encompassed in a single tome. I appreciate the warning. But even so, that's where I'm headed. But... It'll be fine. Lila's never heard of that legend either.
Leo! Howling Deluge! Yeah! I will spray it off! Hang on, everyone! I will smite evil! I will smite evil! Looks like we win! The mountain certainly is impressive up close. Yeah, I can see why they call it Spirit Crest. But still, dragons? Probably just a story some bard made up. Certainly the last time I was here, there was never any sign of one. You mean on your journey with the previous shepherd? Hey, uh, let's play a game. Pick a number, one through ten. Got you! It was twelve. She's off the rails. <laughs> <sighs> Must be that pesky oath of hers again. Anyway, if there really were a dragon there, we wouldn't stand a chance against it. So what? If we run into one, we better hightail it out of there? Hopefully we don't run into one at all. <laughs> 